Hi, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. Happy Easter. Uh, probably will be a couple of weeks after Easter by the time you watch this, but what better way to relax on your day off than in the studio? I had a fail last time I was in the studio. I created mud, I'm trying a new technique with swiping. Um, what I realised is, firstly, I went too big uh, when testing something, and secondly, use littler amounts of colour when doing the swipes. So today I'm going to have a little experiment and I'd love to share that with you. I'm going to work on two small boards and I'm going to try this new technique out and I'm going to see if I actually have any successes. What I am going to do though is use one of them with acrylic paints and the second one using a mixture of the oils and pigments from Perlex which I normally use. Uh, the idea of that for me is to help me grow, learn if I get different styles or different effects using the different pigments and is one better than the other and I genuinely don't know. I've picked similar colours although I don't have the total same colour ranges for both of them but um, hope that you're going to enjoy this experiment with me. It may fail but I am going to show you the process. So let's get creative. So here is my little experiment lined up. Uh, I'm going to be using the acrylic paints here. These ones are Crawford and Black and I am going to go with the Scarlet the ultramarine, the light green, the lemon yellow, and also a rose. I've put the tiniest little bit at the bottom. Uh, I'm hoping that's not gonna be too much, even if it is just a single dot that's just touched the bottom. I'm gonna use very little resin in there. The majority of the resin is gonna be in the white, which is the background. And for that one, I am using Dale and Rowney FW Acrylic Artist Ink. I've got my spatulas that I use for my oil paintings, which I'm going to use for the old swiping. And this is going to be on my second batch. So I have the really red that I love, and it appears in most of my paintings, which is the Cornelison pigments, which is the Canadian red. I'm going to use the uh, blue, which is very similar to ultramarine blue, which is the magic colour. I'm going to use my um, reflex violet, which is Perlex. I'm going to go with my apple green uh, with also the bright yellow which is also a magic colour. So they're what they look like. So ultimately a similar kind of palette, different tones. I didn't have uh, the pink in the pearlexes which is as vibrant as this, that's why I went for the purple. And I'm hoping that both are going to complement these swipes that I'm going to do, but let's get on with this. And I will be using Mastercast 1 plus 1. Okay, so you are back with me. I have mixed up all my colours and surprisingly I did need to add more into my acrylics. I added another two drops, but the rose pink that I thought would be very vibrant, I had to add slightly more. And it's gone almost like ultra violet, like glowy, glowy orange. So not too sure what's with that, if it's a reaction. I don't really want to add any more because I've put quite a bit in there. So I'm still going to go with it for the sake of the experiment. And in my uh, inks and pigments, because I worked with those a lot more, I knew how much to put in. The only ones I added more to was the green and the purple. They were just a bit too see-through for me, so I needed a bold colour. So I've put my colours here just to remind me what board I'm going to be putting what colours on. So I'm undecided whether to work on one board at a time, but I'm going to try and do the same. Um, just so I can see immediate reactions that I'm having. I've probably mixed up way too much resin, so I will have another piece that I'll work on. But for the moment, I'm just going to start spreading and having some fun. As I learn, trying to put some uh, greaseproof paper underneath as well, so any drop offs I get, because they make beautiful little patterns, I wanted to uh, try and keep them and possibly add that to my jewellery. But we'll see. So, at the minute, just applying my base coat of white, just making sure it is touching everywhere, not too thick because when I add the colours, it will just push the resin off. It's like I'm baking a cake on Easter. It's probably why I'm going for all these colours. Easter bunny colours. 
bright, lots of them. Once I've got this coat on, I will then bubble it. Just like bubble it, air bubble it to remove the bubbles. Golly gosh, I don't want to be adding more bubbles in there. Hot tip I learnt, if you bang your tubs as you place them, it does force some of the bubbles to get bigger and pop together. If you've got any more tips yourself that you can share with other creative people, leave it on comments for people. We all like to share. Alright, so I have what I believe is coverage against everywhere and way too much mixed up so I definitely will be working on another pick. I am going to I believe start with the blue so this is my ultramarine blue in acrylics so I'm just going to try and drag a very thin line Wiping off the white so I'm not putting it in there and contaminating the colour. I'm going to do a very similar one to this. Again, they're probably not going to be identical, but I am trying to follow a similar sort of um, pattern or flow just so that I can see from an experiment what's it going to be like. So I'm now going to use my small spatula and see if I can swipe. And then I'm going to go and add another colour and swipe the other way and see if that makes a different colour. So my first one I'm feeling like is going to go this way. So not a lot happened there. Maybe not enough blue so I may need to go and add more. Let me just try on this one. So if I just gently hold it, swipe. I saw more happening there. So let me go back and add a little bit more blue and see if it was just the volume or whether I just don't have the ability to swipe as well with acrylics, which I don't believe will be the case. There you go. So I did get a swipe. It's slightly more diluted, but I'll leave it like that for a moment. Probably will need to add a bit more blue to there, so that it's fair for the <laughs> So I'm just working out where I stand so I can control my swipes. Oh. <laughs> I got stuck to the resin, caused a suction, and it went underneath. Hmm. What I might do is add a little bit of red now. Well. Oh, nearly went over to the other one. <laughs> oh dear, I'm going a little bit dizzy. Or dizzy. What are you trying to do Sharon? I think what I might do is just add some more colours through and then see what colours are created. Let 
me think about what I want to do here. I'm going to swipe with a card. No, I'm going to stick with this and use the end here and see if I get more control. are actually staying more together here. Interesting that the the colour that looks quite day glowy, I actually quite I like that. Seem to be getting a nice flow. I don't know that that's just because you're trying something and your confidence grows or you just think you know what just go for it. What are we gonna lose? It's an experiment. going to torch it and then we're going to see what is going to happen with some of these colours. They are both starting to come together quite vibrant here. And <laughs> I'm going to sound very hippie but I'm, I'm digging it. Okay that's not necessarily creating cells but it is causing the colours to interact and move a little bit. And I'm contemplating do I leave it as it is or go back over with some more colour but I am loving the blending, I'm loving the webbing, I'm loving the movement and it's a really different colour palette to me and I don't know why but I'm tending to like the colours more in this one for this piece because they are quite 80s. Wham! Wake me up before you go, go, whatever word you want to use. They definitely have a feel for that. So I'm just going to let it sit for a few minutes and think about it. So I'm just going to go back over this one. I am going to leave that one exactly as it is. I think it's quite special. <laughs> into a lot of my white so I might have to come back and add more. Okay let me just decide if I need a little bit of white. Oh that's not good there's a chemical reaction happening. Sorry, I just had to leave. I had a little bit of a chemical reaction there with my ink and resin. I've never seen smoke coming out before. It went almost like um, marshmallow. So I've put that outside. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I've ruined this one. I think it's definitely on muddy. I should have left it as it was, but it is an experiment. Fun in the studio. Okay, so one's a fail, one's a success. This one's only a fail because I've added too much colour. If I'd have left it at the first layer, it would have been okay. Um, and then I was going to add my white, but then I had the chemical reaction. <laughs> always, that's why you've always got to keep your doors and windows well ventilated. Don't know how long that had been putting out its fumes. 